Hi, it is day 15 of posting a YouTube video every single day until I stop. Uh, you might be wondering, Ty, what is that on your head? These are AirPod Pro Maxes. Um, you probably knew that already, but I'm just testing them out. Celine gifted them to me to try for an indefinite amount of time and if I like it I can purchase it from her for a discounted price because it doesn't fit her head properly and it kind of hurts her ears or something uh, so I'm just taking it for a test drive today and I figured why not test it out in this video see what it looks like uh, see if it's kind of manageable for me to like speak with um, I mean I've heard great things about them I've always wanted to try them out and this is actually the first time that I'm getting my hands on AirPod Pro Maxes and Build quality is fantastic. Sound quality is pretty good. Um, I can understand the the uncomfortability that she was kind of describing. It is like it is putting a lot of pressure on my ears, uh, in particular. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get used to it. Give it a good chance. And if I like it, I'll probably purchase it from her because it's a cool thing. And uh, I am looking for over ear headphones. I'm gonna keep this one very short. I just have one thing I want to discuss. It is something that I posted on my Instagram today. My quote was, in-person communication is far superior to online communication. And I firmly believe that. And that was a statement that kind of came to mind based on a couple of recent events in my life, a couple of in-person conversations in my life that have remedied a lot of online anxiety slash stress slash miscommunication and it is occurring to me that the online world is not an appropriate grounds to make amends or convey a complex message or transmit emotion it's just not unfortunately we're not at that point yet you know maybe with the apple vision pro it'll be a different story because you can kind of head scan yourself into the digital world and then maybe you could get a better read on on somebody's emotional standpoint but for now as it stands the online world especially texting or messaging or dms it is just an incredibly poor space to convey any thoughts or meaning that live remotely below the surface Sure, it's fine for quick little snippets, quick little messages, I'm on my way, what's the address, etc. But if you're trying to get into the nitty gritty of your emotion set, like what's up in here, there is absolutely zero way that you can properly convey your emotions via words on a screen in a condensed short amount of time. It's just not possible. And I think that us as humans, the way that technology is going, we're being kind of conditioned to think that it is appropriate to use these abbreviated methods of communication. And I think we're being conditioned to understand that texting is the end all be all or quick messaging is the end all be all. And that is, that's not true. There is so much more to the human emotion set than just tiny little pixels on a screen. And it's taken many, many, many hard conversations in my real life to understand that almost anything can be remedied with authentic, genuine, in-person, human-to-human connection. I think a lot of the problems that you may face and that I may face arise in part due to mistranslations of emotion sets via the third-party middleman, which is the internet. I think the internet is a terrible messenger. It is the worst messenger in the entire existence of humanity. We couldn't have picked a worse messenger to convey our human emotion set because we are so vastly complex. And what the internet does is it dilutes our complexity to abridged slang at worst and intellectual snippets at best. Like, yeah, you can get kind of intellectual and deep via text, but... All of the emotion is just dissipated. It's absolutely gone. Because the life is sucked out of it when you're reading a freaking blue bubble on your iMessage. Or when you're seeing a, like a, a one sentence paragraph in your Instagram DMs. 
This is not me complaining, by the way. I'm absolutely not complaining about this. I'm just trying to analyze the fact that I've had, especially in my recent experiences, tremendous progress and tremendous eye-opening experiences with in-person interaction. And it just reminds me as we delve into this ever-increasing technological world that there is at this moment no substitute for true human-to-human -human connection. And I just want to iterate that a lot of the emotion set and the passion and the understanding and the empathy and the compassion is lost when our words and intentions are picked up and conveyor belt through the middleman that is the internet. It's a huge loss. It is a tremendous loss. And it would behoove you and me to really, really take that into account when we are addressing people online, especially when the stakes are high or when the emotions are high or when there needs or when something important needs to be conveyed. My go to is like, if there's an issue, get me in front of that person. Like we will hammer it out. I have, I have faith in my ability to communicate as human that we can resolve almost any single issue if we just have open dialogue eye to eye. My second go-to is a phone conversation. I think a phone conversation is much more depthful than, than, than a text message conversation. And I almost never in my adult life would ever opt to have a serious conversation via text. It is almost... It is grounds for miscommunication and misinterpretation and further turmoil. It is absolutely almost guaranteed. As I grow older, I am learning of the value, the, I'm learning of the true value of, of in-person contact. And, uh, you know, if there's anything that you could take away from this, it's that it's an easy trap to fall into the online communication world because it's so easy. It literally is so easy. They make it so easy for us to communicate online. And when I say easy, that's a loaded word. There's a lot, there's a lot of meaning behind that word easy. For example, you can hide behind a text message. You can get comfortable behind a text message. Because of all the reasons that I just listed, it is detracted from your true emotion set. You can say things that you would never say in person. It is the easy route, it is the, co it is the convenient route, and it is the comfortable route to have a hard conversation over text. And I think people are missing touch with that notion. That used to be a thing. When text messaging was, first came out, you know, I remember like in high school or something, like if someone was to break up with somebody else over text, it would be like heavily frowned upon because that's like the coward's way out. That is the easy way out. That is like almost you're running away from your problems if you can only break up with your significant other over text. It's it's not meaningful. There's no passion in it. It's almost, it's almost disrespectful. And I feel like that notion is being diluted these days because of the prominence of text messaging and just how convenient it is and how accessible it is and, and how many people do it. It is like a part of our culture now. And as a subsequent consequence of that, having huge, large discussions with weight are being lumped into that convenience and we are losing connection to how to actually solve problems. And that is with face-to-face -face contact. I'm not putting the blame on anyone. I'm not putting the blame on you. I'm not putting the blame on even on the, on text messaging as a whole. I think it's just, it's up to us to realize the value in that in-person connection and to not get trapped in the digital world too much. I hope that kind of came together. Um, that's a, you know, that's an interesting topic and it's, it's one that I'm glad I spoke on and, and can solidify this in my, you know, YouTube journey so I can look back and reference this mindset that I have because as I've mentioned in previous, my thoughts are fleeting. They are ever so fleeting and solidifying my thoughts has been of so much value to me of late. And I'm so happy and proud of myself for doing this. And uh, again, I feel like I do this every time, but you know, hopefully it'll convince one or two of you to actually hop on board with solidifying your ideas. But I recommend wholeheartedly that you, in some form or fashion, 
write, document, create something that solidifies what's up in here. All right. That was a little bit messy. That's all right. It's okay. I'm getting better at these. I'm having more fun with these. And I'm really, really glad that you stick around to watch me speak my thoughts. It's, it's, it's honestly heartwarming to see you still here. And uh, I'm really excited for you to follow along in my journey and, and see what happens and hopefully learn or take away something from my experiences. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.